Hello Transformation, welcome back to my channel, Modest Transformation by Celeste. In today's video, have you ever wondered if your crush is your soulmate or not? Well, buckle up because I'm going to reveal the six signs that it's time for you to just move on and be with someone who is for you. Let's get into the video. <music> give you guys six signs that your crush is not to be it's sad to say but it's the truth i have been through it and i had to get on so these are the six signs here i'm going to go one by one and i'm going to show you guys each of one of these different signs of you understanding yourself of being in a relationship whether you're a man or a female and um i'm gonna tell you guys number one is lack of reciprocation meaning that what if you're planning right you said well i want to see you i want to get to know you and you want to go out on a date however this person is kind of wishy-washy kind of like playing the field right i have been through that because i have plans that well i want to um i want us to get out and go out grab a bite, a bite to eat and they don't say anything in response you know and it was like okay like you know i'm putting this effort out there what i'm doing wrong but it's not you it's them so you have to really be careful when you put yourself out there dating or having a long time crush on someone you have known for years but they don't reciprocate so it's a lack of reciprocation and most of the time, guys will say that they've been hurt, they went through a lot, and so have you. So don't accept that because everybody's not the same. So, you know, when I hear that, I like, you done did something, you done went, you did something. So, you know, it's, I don't like a man that don't want to participate into anything. You know, it's and it makes you feel like you don't want to be in relationships, be in relationships or any at all because you feel like, wow, you know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, or you feel left out. But lack of reciprocation. Sarah scrolled through her phone, rereading the witty text she'd sent Ethan two hours ago. Still no reply. It wasn't unusual. Most of her messages hung in the abyss of his phone, unanswered. Yet every time he did respond, it was a spark that reignited her hope. This time, though, the silence felt deafening. As she stared at his latest Instagram story, a picture of him laughing with another girl, a realization hit her like a rogue wave. Maybe the only reciprocation she'd get was a sore thumb from scrolling. Second one, mixed signals. You know how someone be so lovely dovely around you, they want to smile and play with you, giggle and... You know, this and that and trying to make sweet gestures. Oh, I missed you. Or can I see you? Or um, can we video chat? You know, things in that nature. Then all of a sudden they act distant. And you wonder, what did I do wrong? Did I say something wrong? Did I did I say something to you in the wrong way? Did I offend you? Or, you know, what is it? You try to go around their bubble and understand what is it that you may not understand what's what's wrong with these mixed signals, what's wrong with these mixed emotions. Why are you saying you 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 like me one day, you flirting and the next you distant? Most importantly with that, ladies and gentlemen, that person's probably seeing somebody, in my opinion, or they are conflicted because they're thinking about their past or what they went through they probably feeling like oh i'm going through the same path it's with this person i like this person but would they hurt me or will i hurt them so it's like a conflict battle so you know i'm just like you know the mixed signals and if a guy or a female is giving you a mixed signal it is best to just walk away you know because you won't go through the heartache of waiting around, playing around, because they can't make up their mind whether they want to be with you seriously or they just want to just you around 
to make them feel better. And that's not good because it needs to be a balance of, you know, of the same feelings and not the opposite side. So here's an example of that here of mixed signals. His gaze lingered on Maya a little too long in history class. Her cheeks flushed and a smile played on her lips. Later at lunch, he barely acknowledged her, engrossed in a conversation with his friends. This confusing hot and cold routine had become their dance. One moment, David would act like Maya was the only girl in the room. The next, he'd treat her like a ghost. The mixed signals left her perpetually off balance, never knowing where she stood. Third, the different values and the, I guess morals or goals you want to say. So the person, he or she, they may be outgoing. They like to party a lot. They like to be seen. Tom and Chloe were inseparable. They laughed together, shared secrets, and finished each other's sentences. But as they talked about their futures, a chasm opened between them. Liam dreamt of traveling the world, living a life of adventure. Chloe, on the other hand, longed for stability and a family. Their core values clashed, and neither was willing to compromise. The love they shared was genuine, but their paths diverged, leading them to a painful realization. Sometimes love isn't enough. An investment. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not put all of your energy into someone that's not doing the same for you. That's just saying, for example, you calling them, keep calling them, calling them, run them up, and they'll call you when they when they feel like talking to you, and be you know be bothered with you. So I'm saying, stop putting so much energy into calling that person. Lack of effort and investment, the one-sided street. Noah thought he was being charming, showering Maya with compliments and grand gestures. However, Maya craved a deeper connection. She longed for conversations that went beyond her looks and for him to be interested in her dreams and aspirations. Noah, however, rarely initiated plans and seemed content with the surface level interactions. Maya realized the effort was a one-way street, leaving her feeling unappreciated and unseen. Somebody you're not. Um, a lot of us women and, and men like to portray to be someone else to get this person attention or to think that they'd be attracted to me this way if I act a certain way. Inability to be yourself, the stifled symphony. Around Emily, Michael became a different person. He toned down his quirky jokes and wore clothes he felt uncomfortable in, all to fit the image he thought she'd like. But the constant pretense was exhausting. Emily and your crush. Most of the time, your crush is unavailably is unavailable, and mainly unavailable means emotionally unavailable. You try to talk to them, have a conversation, and try to open up about their feelings, how they feel about you, and they kind of in this box that they don't show emotions. Attracted to his genuine self, picked up on his discomfort. One night, after a particularly strained conversation, Emily confessed. I like you for who you are, not who you think you need to be. Michael, realizing he couldn't be himself around her, knew their melody wouldn't harmonize. If they don't see the goodness in you, then they're not for you. I learned that and I cried a lot because I felt like I wasn't attractive enough. I felt insecure with coming down to men because I felt like, you know, every time I liked someone, you know, it goes off really smooth, and then next thing you know, it just, it's on the back burner. They become distant. They act crazy. They act funny, you know, and I'm like, what did I do wrong? What what am I doing wrong? But it's not me, and I just haven't met the right one, so that's it, you guys. Those are the six signs of if your crush, you and your crush are meant to be or not. But I would say save your heartache, save your time, save your energy. Um, you have to keep your boundaries up. Um, but, you know, just look around 
and see if you have some true people that really care about you and that really wants to take it further to the next step, then that is the person for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video, the six signs, if your crush are meant to be or not. But um, if you guys want to hear more videos about this or more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. And um, the goal is to get 12,000 subscribers. Um, we're on our way. So thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.